Now their final hour for those families at Mount Kumgang was spent having lunch together. Now it's back to reality. Our Cha Sang-mi has some of the touching and tearful scenes from those last moments. <laughs> Scenes of long separated families finally reunited, but having to part ways again. The older sister promises they will meet again in the future, knowing they probably won't. Another older sister comforts a younger one. The participants from South Korea arrived half an hour earlier at the meeting hall to wait for their relatives. They say the three days they spent together, despite being under strict control, were amazing. The families also had a session for exchanging letters, where some grandchildren, nephews and niece, wrote heartfelt letters for their grandparents, aunts and uncles, and vice versa. The grandchildren had never seen their North Korean grandparents before, but they invited them to their homes in Seoul. The venue for South Korea's farewell became a sea of tears, but it seemed they were happy deep down. Shim said the time had flown and she wanted to stop the clocks so they wouldn't have to say goodbye. Just after lunch, though, the 81 South Korean families, totaling 324 people, left Mount Kumgang to go home. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.